Hello, this is Shirley, the herb lady from Alaska. It is in the middle of April and it is still snowing, so we're enjoying the snow. We're going to speak about, still on the nervous system, nerve 8. Nerve 8 means there's 8 different herbs that works on the nervous system. And um, it has helped quite a few people. Nerve 8 is designed to relieve pain and inflammation in the joints. And see, a lot of times you don't think about the nervous systems causing the pain. You, you think it's something else, but you have to take care of that nervous system. And it helps uh, with the pain in the muscles and the nerve, nerves. Nerve 8 is combined with eight, uh, herbs that demonstrate effective painkillers, anti-inflammation, uh, and it helps with almost any um, health problem including arthritis, back pain, muscle, nerve pain, anxiety, depression, lower blood pressure. Um, it relieves stress and tension and nervous tension. The first herb that's in it is black cohosh. Black cohosh is uh, anti-inflammation. It's a mild sedative. It soothes muscles, uh, nerves. It relieves um, tension. Uh, it reduces depression. And the second one is cayenne. Cayenne stimulates the digestive system. The mucus fluid, it helps the digestion. It soothes inflammation. It relieves gastro problems. Cayenne also demonstrates and relieves pain and, and depletes substance P. And P is a neural peptide that transmit pain signals from the nervous system to the brain. So you never realize that some of these herbs can really help to stop the pain. Um, it also has been used to enhance energy. Uh, a lot of times I give it to people when, when they say that they can't feel their feet or something like that because it increases the circulation. And it relieves mild depression fatigue it was from stress. A recent study uh, indicates that cayenne supplement can reduce the, race, the resting heart rate in men. Now that I did not know, so I thought that study was really good. The, nut, the third one is devil's claw. Devil's claw is anti-inflammation, uh, treating for uh, degeneration, joint disease, Devil's Claw is also used for chronic lower back pain, headaches, tendonitis, fibromyalgia. Devil's Claw has been shown to be effective agent in chronic arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, clinic trials shows that Devil's Claw reduces pain and improves movement and range motion. It, the effects are very comparable to the uh, to the products that you buy from the drugstore. In fact, they, they say Devil's Claw even does better. Uh, the German Commission E has approved Devil's Claw for degeneration disorders, painful conditions, tendons, and joints. Do you ever realize when you have pain, what you want to do is you want to take something to stop the pain. But if you take something from the store to sort, short circuit it, the pain is still there. You just short circuits your nervous system and it's still eating away, the bones eating away and you can just have more and more trouble. I mean, what you want to do is, why we take herbs is, herbs go in there and start repairing it. And when the pain goes away, it means it's, it's, it's being repaired. And you'd never have something paired than something short circuited. Um, it even helps people with gallstones, stomach inflammation, uh, it says avoid using devil's claw uh, when you have a lot of stomach trouble. Okay, number four is ginger. Has been used for thousands of years to treat inflammation. And inflammation means pain. If you have pain, you're either eating wrong or you're doing something wrong. Because if you're eating wrong, uh, then change your eating habits. Find out what your blood type needs. Like B cannot eat chicken. A cannot eat tomatoes. Um, o, we cannot eat dairy products. 
And if you keep away from it, you're not stiff or anything like that. Um, even YouTube is, um, well, it's not YouTube, uh, it's um, Facebook. No, it was YouTube I listened to the advertisement. And they're coming in. What I was teaching 29 years ago about keep having two bowel movements to three bowel movements a day, they're teaching it now on YouTube. I mean, for the advertisement. Somebody put the advertisement in there. And then uh, almost everything I've been teaching for 29 years, they're coming out and saying, well, you need to do this and you need to do that. And honestly, you do, but some of their ideals, uh, there's a lot easier ways to do it. Uh, ginger demonstrates it's a substance that prevents edema and swelling effect. Ginger also has properties that suppresses inflammation and inhibits the COX1 and the COX2. Studies shown that ginger promotes and reduces symptoms of arthritis and knee swelling and relieves uh, pain and swelling of arthritis and muscle discomfort. Ginger, and, but what we use ginger for is when people go out on boats, we have a lot of people that al almost live on boots, boats when they're out fishing because that's their money for the whole year. And um, ginger, I, I tell them to take it along so if anybody gets se seasick, they need to take it before they get on the boat and they can start taking it and then they don't get motion sickness or seasick. Number five is hops. Has been used in the European as a sedative. Approved to use in the German Commission E for treating anxiety and restlessness and sleep disturbance. Hops is commonly used to relieve insomnia and to help wean the patient off of prescription sedatives. Number six, well, what we did with hops, one lady did it, and I've never forgot, she came in, she said, you've got to help me. My husband's drinking a six pack before meals, six packs after meals, because he's so exhausted when he comes home. And we started giving him hops, and it took months, but finally, uh, he didn't ask what he was taking, he just took it, because she had the herbs laying there for him. Uh, she came in, she said, I finally got him off of when he got home with hops. And then finally, more months later, in the, uh, afterwards the meal, it, he quit taking it because she was giving enough hops to relax him so he didn't need to take, drink the beer. And so she was, she was a happy camper. Um, number six is valerian root. Uh, it's very, it's a sedative approved by the German Commission E for restless and sleep disturbance and, uh, and resulting in nervous conditions. The World Health Organization recommends uh, valerian as a substitute for prescription for sedatives, for nervousness, for anxiety, for sleep disturbance. Valerian is used for uh, mild anxiety, emotional stress, hyperactivity, insomnia, migraines, headaches, agitation, nervous tension. A, rest, a recent study showed that valerian improved symptoms of restless leg syndrome and decreases daytime sleep. Number seven is willowbark. It is used for a natural inflammation for relief of arthritis, backaches, headaches, muscle pain, nerves, Toothaches and the German Commission has approved white willow for rheumatoid uh, heart, uh, he headaches, fevers. A number of studies has been proved that white willow helps with inflammation, degeneration, and double blind studies have found that white willow to be more effective in treating chronic back pain and arthritis. And the last one, and number eight is word betony has been used throughout history <clears throat> uh, dating back to the ancient Egyptians as a sedative effective on the nervous system. Word betony acts with to relax, a relaxing tonic for the nervous system and helps to calm, calm the nervous system, soothe the pain, especially the nerve pain. Uh, word betony has helped arthritis conditions, gout, 
uh, hypertension, migraines, nervous disorders, rheumatism, sciatica, headaches, stemming from poor circulation, uh, nervous tension. Russians research has identified and scrubbed substance in wood betony that possesses anti-inflammation and blood pressure lowering. I hope you learned something from that one. Well, it's eight herbs, but nerve eight, but it, they put those herbs together, the herbis, herbalists did, so they can uh, repair the nervous system. Because some people just need a little bit and other people need the whole, almost the whole bottle. But it depends on how bad you have, you need to be repaired. 